Hello, thank you for joining me. Uh, this is the second video in our uh, video series on uh, modifying a sheet template. In regard to uh, sheet templates, uh, you know, as I mentioned in the first video, they're designed to provide you some sort of mechanism in order to give information to the people who are going to be building your project or even bidding on your project. And uh, the sheet template uh, provides you with a title block which has information that uh, comes in what I consider to be three different elements uh, in regard to that information being uh, given out. One of those elements is very general in nature. It's specific to your company. It's got your company logo in as we talked about in the first video. And it's also got uh, your company name and address and stuff like that. And uh, kind of the general look of the sheet too. That doesn't really change from uh, project to project. It might change over, over the years, but it generally is the same from project to project. Now the other two elements involve uh, project specific elements and information and then sheet specific information. And we're going to go through that today. So we already have the, the family uh, saved and we have a load in our project. Now we're going to make some modifications to that in order to populate the sheet. Uh, the, the template that we have from the Cybex website comes with some automated features to it that allow us to populate some of the, some of the fields in here. As we uh, modified our sheet family, uh, we made the project name and uh, the sheet name uh, a little bit bigger in our uh, our title block, and now we're going to populate that. So the way you do that with project specific is specific information, you want to go to the Manage tab and go to the Project Information uh, button on the Settings tab. You have to fill in all this information, but it's always a good idea to at least put in the author, and that's going to be your name. We don't need to worry about energy settings right now. Project issue date doesn't get updated. Project status uh, status is uh, uh, you know like where you're at with it, whether you're in revisions, whether you're um, like the first iteration or second iteration, stuff like that. That doesn't get updated either. And if you want to do this, this is probably uh, fodder for another video if you like. That would involve project parameters, but we're not going to get into that uh, at least not in this video. Client name. We don't have to worry about that project ad address. We can probably update that too, but uh, again, what we're doing right now is entering information that would be specific to this project and would get updated in our sheet that we're looking at. Project name, though, we do want to put that in there. So I'm going to call this the Mr. Donut Shop and make sure we want to put everything in uh, capital letters for this project. Uh, just about everything uh, that I, I've ever seen on sheets typically come in capitals. I don't see very much in the way of exceptions there. It's just kind of a standard from company to company out there. So we're going to call that um, the Mr. Donut Ellensburg. And the project number, again, I don't think we have a link. Uh, we have to go through project parameters to put that in there. So for right now, we're just going to put in just a, a random number and then go to OK. You'll notice that right away when we do press OK, that the project name went ahead and updated. It looks like it interferes a little bit with on my unnamed uh, sheet name here. In order to get that to those two lines in, I'm going to go ahead and edit this family and go ahead and fix that. So I'm going to go in there, go into my sheet name, and all I'm going to do is just take that sheet name and just move it down a little bit by using my arrow keys. Load back into project, overwrite the existing file, moves down, and now we're doing pretty good. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to update some of the sheet uh, information that's specific to the sheet. For instance, sheet information may include like the person who actually designed uh, the floor plan in this, and we're just talking about the floor plan, which is what we're looking at here. We also want to uh, fill in the gaps in some of the other information in regard to the sheet, and that is uh, perhaps who it was drawn by and who it's going to be checked by. So the way you do that is you go to the sheet itself, over here to the properties, and you want to scroll down. And again, unless you select an element here, it always reverts back to the very general nature of what we're looking at here, and that's the sheet itself. And when we scroll down here, you notice that we have some elements in here that we can uh, we can fill in. So approved by, typically this comes into capital letters, usually the three letters of a person's name, first, middle, and last name. So approved by, we'll just make up some letters here. Um, perhaps Y-O-U approved this. Designed by, M-E-E, -E, perhaps. Checked by. I'm going to put my letters in there, CSS. The sheet number is going to stay the same. We like uh, sheet A101 for the floor plan. The sheet name, that hasn't been named yet. You can name that here, or you can go down to your project browser and name it down here. But either way, we can name that. We'll go back to our sheet and name it up here. So click on unnamed, and we're going to call that first floor. If I R S T F L O R and then plan. Uh, issue date. 
We're going to make that issue date the, the 6th of Tuesday, our project uh, due date. And drawn by... Just putting in some numbers in there. And now we're okay. Nothing to nothing to press there. No OK buttons. But if you scroll over here and look at uh, this section of our or of our sheet, you can see that uh, some of those areas have been filled in. Designed by MEE, drawn by HEW, checked by CSS, contract number, plot scale. Plot scales are automatically updated from our uh, the the view that we put in there. And uh, the end, uh, the paper size that needs to be changed to. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. And I notice that my file name is like really, really long. It's going to be on the border of our title block, so we're going to fix that too. So the way you do that, right click, go to Edit Family, or go up here to your project or to your ribbon. You can change it that way. We're going to get rid of the label at least for now. This is File Path, and just going to go ahead and delete that. We could add that later. File name, we're going to stretch that out a little bit so it does take up one line. And the size is not ANSI E. You might want to change that to Architectural A R C H D. That's a 24 by 36 inch paper they're using. Load back in the project. Yes, we want to overwrite the existing version. And now that looks pretty darn good. Doesn't fill in all the information, but it does give you a head start. And that's a good way to get started with your uh, sheet template. So thanks for joining me. Stay tuned.